At one time, Times Squares or Town Squares were the heart of the community, and there are still a few places right here in our community that history is still alive. Yeah, that's right. Fred Hunter takes us to the city of Troy, to its Town Square, to see what's new and to learn about the efforts to preserve the past. And as Fred shows us, both are, of course, absolutely Alabama. Last year, um, my oldest son and I decided, you know, why don't we open a bakery? Let's see what we, you know, let's see what we can do. So we found this spot. It happened to, to be up for lease, and it was a perfect place for us. Be Sweet Dessert Boutique is one of the many new businesses opening around the square in downtown Troy. We do a lot of custom birthday cakes and weddings. People can come in and if they're looking for a, a specific cookie or you know just need some ideas for a special occasion, um, we can go through the cookie cutters and I can design them really however they want. I always kind of thought if I was going to open a bakery, I wanted to be on the square. It, it's just kind of the heart of the city. Just off the square in downtown Troy, you'll find the Chapman House. It's right next door to the original Catholic Church here in Troy. The Chapman House was originally built by Martin Connor. He was from Ireland. He was a businessman, a local merchant. He was very um, involved in the Catholic Church. So he commissioned the Emporium, what we call now the Emporium, as the first Catholic Church in Troy in 1915. It was a Catholic Church until 1977. A new Catholic Church was built and the building became an event center. Then, when the historic site went on the market... I jokingly um, texted it to Casey and was like, what if we bought a wedding venue? Because we're both very passionate about Troy and um, wanting it to grow and wanting it, the history to stay alive here. And we have a lot of local people who love to get married at the Emporium simply because they are from Troy and it's just rich in history. And it's kind of like one of the places in Troy that is still very old and very rich in history and very beautiful. One of the fun things about Troy is that you do have the aspect of the university. So you have people coming from, my husband's from Georgia, I'm from Montgomery, coming to Troy from different places. It's kind of fun to be able to interlink that aspect of people who aren't from here coming here to get married and their friends are already here, their community is already here. I truly believe that the Troy community is like none other. We get the question all the time, how do you find all those places? The answer is pretty simple. You get off the highway and you explore places like Troy, places with an ongoing history and the effort to preserve that history, which is absolutely Alabama. 